That sucks. Angry. I'm disappointed. And I'm like. Tuesday morning, it's Bria's birthday. Talking stuff like that, and I get a text at 6:10 from Court down there, and he's like, "Oh yeah, more delay, more delay." Couldn't have been worse it's timing. To be this week, right? Because we were elated. We thought that Steel was going to be happening this week, and so I was pumped. I thought the next text I was going to get was, "Oh, it's happening on Thursday. Be here at nine. And then it's a 180. This is. Said this is a few minutes after nine. Right today, uh, I'd say maybe like uh, 6.8 out of 10. Six out of 10 flat. We're at the same place we've been for many weeks now. You can't do, you can't go wild until you have the water not coming into the building. That sucks, yeah. but you know, I, it is what it is. Communication did happen today. Round one, fight. I think if I explain this process, you'll, you'll understand. So then the steel guy came out right away. Yep, yeah. That's when we had to sit down because he found all the discrepancies between design, initial design, and yep. to what's in the field. You just mean like the structural stuff got shifted, like the actual stairs. Yeah, everything went this way. I mean, it just changes everything. So we're, hmm. That makes me a little nervous. So that's stressful because it's like, it's almost nothing done yet, and now all of a sudden, money's going away. I want more clarification. Yeah. Round two, fight. Does this make sense of what I'm, what I'm saying? Not completely, to be honest. Like, yeah, my, question? my question then goes to, how is the original schedule even possible? I understand the steel company, but isn't it on them to get their guys out here faster? Oh. They, they, Jonathan, yeah. The masonry, why were they delayed then? We can't, we can't do it until we have these new shop pictures. You can't even go back to them and say, well, you, you promised this date. Can't. Well, the only, the only, the only person who gets screwed is me, well, basically. Exactly. It's our job as the owners to make sure we're on top of these things, asking the proper questions. That's why we didn't just agree to signing the eight week change order right now, at least. I don't think anybody should ever sign anything at first glance, or if someone pressures you, you need to review that stuff for yourself because the only one that's really looking out for you is you. So I would rather just see a full, but here, here, like, but written out timeline. We're gonna still knock this thing out. We gotta, we're gonna have. <coughs> believe you can catch it up. You believe you can do it. Well, why do we need an eight-week change order to sign? Because if we believe in you, we believe in you they, too. They, <laughs> you know, no, I'm sorry for you. This is the, this is the, the problem. We're not as familiar. And it's like, it's your job to protect you, it's our job to protect us. I don't think we're at odds, but I think we do need to fully understand, which I think is fair and reasonable sure. for everybody. So and my steel guys, like, I'm more than happy to sit down and talk to them. I think I'm gonna be kind of rough. Yeah. We understand rough. You know what I mean? Right, like, I'm a... I mean, I'm... Yeah. We'll see. We're not signing it. We're waiting for that schedule. Let's tough times that. make tough people. And we're tough. <laughs> what else happens? Uh, our oven's here. Yeah, that's so that's cool. awesome. The second we, level oven. Second level oven. We had to order that so that the crane could put it up here with the steel. All right, so the situation is we're in a time crunch. So uh, I scheduled a call with a longtime friend and mentor, Francesco Mara, who's the CEO of Amara Porni. I'm hoping he can figure something out for me. Francesco. Hey, hello. Hello. Having some issues on my construction project, and with all the moving parts of this, I'm kind of behind on ordering one of the ovens for the second level of the building. And basically, I need to, I need a crane to bring it up to that second level, but I need it to be this um, the oven to be there on the same day that we're lifting up the steel to the second level. I make sure that we can help you and uh, uh, do whatever we can so you're gonna overcome you know your challenges. Awesome, man. That. That really means a lot to me. We met the guys from Mara Forni at the Pizza Expo in Las Vegas. And they're like, we're gonna be at the National Restaurant Show in Chicago. Will you be our chefs at the event? So we went up there and all the chefs at these pizza booths were only making margarita pizzas, keeping it really simple. But we came out like, we're gonna bring our best stuff. We did all these fun ingredients and stuff. And, and but that was our first experience cooking on these ovens and we yeah. fell in love with these ovens. And then we- And I was called 
pizza girl. Oh, I've never seen a pizza girl before. <laughs> never seen a pizza girl like you before. It's like this 65-year-old Italian dude with the white hair just like protruding from his shirt. A I was big like, are you chain. hitting on me? Because yeah, exactly. I don't hate it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, baby girl. Well, this is one of three pricey. ovens we're buying from them on this project. And, and this one we got a deal, which is hilarious. This oven, I think with shipping, and this is the smallest one, was $41,000. Yeah, that freaking hurts. <laughs> but these things are freaking workhorses. Like they, we've had no problems with our oven in Lamont. These things can just produce. That'd be nice. Yep. Anything else? Yep, yep. No, that's it. That's it. That's all she wrote. <laughs>